Hi, welcome to our physiotherapy series on walking aids. Today we'll be showing you how to select and use a walking aid that best catered to your needs or that of a loved one who requires walking aids. Walking aids are used by those who have difficulties walking. A walking aid is used to decrease the effort and energy required to walk, decrease the weight on the injured or weak leg, compensate for a lack of balance or reduce the risk of falls. There are many types of walking gates available, such as the walking frame, quad stick, walking stick, or crutches. Choice of a suitable walking aid depends on a few factors. Your health, age and size, the amount of weight you can put on your leg, comfort level, ease of use, stability and safety. Once a suitable walking aid is selected, Correct adjustment and footwear is important to ensure safety and good posture. One should avoid wearing slippers or loose-fitting shoes when using a walking aid, as it may increase your risk of falling or tripping. For crutches, wear the appropriate shoes, stand tall and place your crutch by your side. With arm resting comfortably by the side, Adjust the height of the crutch to about 2-3 to three finger spacing between your armpit and the top of the crutch. Once the crutch is measured to the proper height, adjust the crutch handle until it is aligned to your wrist. Stand tall and adjust the height of the handle until it is in line with your wrist. When walking with crutches, place both crutches about one foot forward. Next, step forward with your injured leg. Use both hands to push down on the crutch handles to support your body weight. Do not lean on your armpits as it would compress a nerve causing numbness of the hand. Then, step forward with the good leg, keeping it in line with the crutches. If you are not allowed to put weight through the injured leg, keep your injured leg bent, bring both crutches forward, use your arms to support your full body weight through the crutch handles, and gently swing your good leg forward. When using the walking frame, place the frame slightly in front of you, step forward with the injured or weaker leg, then step forward with the other leg. When using the quad stick or walking stick, hold the stick with the hand opposite your injured or weak leg. Move your stick forward at the same time as your weak leg. Do not place the stick too far forward as you may lose your balance. Then step forward with the other leg. If using a quad stick which has an offset base, make sure the straight side is closer to your body. When standing up from the chair, hold the crutches or stick beside you or the walking frame in front of you. Sit on the edge of the chair, place the other hand on the armrest of the chair, stand up using the armrest to push off. Do not use your walking aid to pull yourself up as it may likely tip over and cause an injury. When sitting down onto the chair, place your crutches or stick to your side. Use the other hand to hold on to the armrest. Then, gently lower yourself onto the chair. When going up or down steps, remember, good leg goes to heaven, bad leg goes to hell. 
Steps should be climbed one step at a time. When going up, place the good leg up on the step. Then the crutches or stick and the affected leg on the same step. If there is a stair rail, one hand should hold the rail and the other hand the crutch or stick. When going down, lower the crutch or stick and the bad leg onto the step below. Then the good leg to the same step. If there is a stair rail, one hand should hold the rail and the other hand the crutch or stick. We have come to the end of another physiotherapy education series. Remember, proper use of a suitable walking aid will ensure your safety when walking. Do talk to a physiotherapy if you require help to select a walking aid that best cater to your needs. Alright, see you again!